But first, we want to talk about something that is very dear to our hearts here at KDKA. We are talking about the Free Care Fund. The uh, proud, uh, we are proud once again to uh, be one of the uh, bring you the Children's Hospital of Pittsburgh Free Care Fund benefit show. This will be our 65th year broadcasting live to share the stories of hope, courage, and medical care as told by UPMC Children's Hospital, patients, and their families. The benefit show helps assure that every child receives the care they need regardless of a family's ability to pay. And here to help us kick it off are two special guests. We want to welcome the new president of the Children's Hospital Foundation, Rachel Petroselli, and Stephanie Davis, the niece of longtime beloved supporter of the fund, the shoeshine guy with the biggest heart, Albert. Lexi. Good morning, ladies. Good morning. morning. And Rachel, congratulations. First of all, you were interim president mm -hmm. since April, mm -hmm. and you've been with the Free Care Fund since 2004. I've been with Children's Hospital since 2004, and just so honored and excited to have the opportunity to serve now as the foundation's president. And so tell me what your, what your role will be in overseeing uh, the foundation. Sure. The foundation now raises around $25 million to support the hospital um, and it plays a vital role in the hospital's accomplishments and success. So Children's has earned its reputation as a leading children's hospital, not only nationally, but I think on the world stage. So we're excited to, to be a big part of that success. And we were just kind of briefly talking in the break about how important it is to carry on legacies like your uncle. Mm -hmm. And the way to do that is to give back. This is a community effort. It's the biggest tribute to a, a wonderful human being who really embodied selfless giving and to inspire so many people, not only across our community, but around the nation to give to Children's Hospital. So Stephanie, tell us a little bit about your uncle and what he did for so many years. Well, you know, he caught the um, 550 bus twice a week, went to the hospital. Um, he touched so many people's lives, not only here in the community, but abroad. He's been honored many, many awards. And he also, now his legacy will also live on in um, this museum in Ohio called Famous Endings. <laughs> And I received this from the um, uh, owner of the um, uh, museum. Unbelievable. So it's, yeah, it's, even though he's gone, he's not gone. They're still giving. And I just hope that this year we make this the best um, telethon ever in honor of him and his kids. And I just want everybody to open up their pocketbooks and give. And so let's talk about how much you can give. I mean, can you give five bucks? Can you give any, any dollar, any amount will have an impact in helping kids and families. Really, no family should worry about the burden of covering their child's health care. Right. So it ensures that our mission to provide care, regardless of a child's ability to pay, um, is insured. And it really is. I mean, it can be um, a small gift, a large gift. We've seen mm -hmm. both over the mm -hmm. years th through this telethon. Exactly. Uh, smallest, a dollar to hundreds of thousands of dollars, all given by our generous community. So in your new role, what are you hoping to accomplish with the foundation? Really to continue to build on that momentum. We have uh, an ambitious and talented and dedicated team at the foundation. And it's a privilege to lead us forward into this next chapter continuing to uh, provide the resources that help make Children's Hospital the, um, provide the expert and compassionate care that children deserve. One thing that we hear year after year is how much this really does help. This isn't just some fund that's set up that maybe only helps a couple people. Mm -hmm. This really helps so many families, not just from Western Pennsylvania, but from further away. 35,000 children benefited from the Free Care Fund last year and uh, $22 million was um, given in, in free and uncompensated care by the hospital. Certainly the Free Care Fund contributes to that impact. Unbelievable. Well, thank you ladies for joining us this morning. We look forward to talking more about this all week long. So we appreciate you helping thank kick you it so off. Thank you so much. Thank you. And the 60th, 65th annual KDKA Free Care Fund Benefit Show broadcast live this Thursday starting during the KDKA TV News at 4. And the one-hour benefit show starts at 7 o'clock. But you do not have to wait until then to donate. You can do that now online and your name will be added to the live ticker on the telethon broadcast. You can look for that link and more details at kdka.com slash PTL.